Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week, and if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. The backstory in this number is a fun one. I decided to play a game of chance to pick my next creation and landed on this beauty. A cropped hoodie rocking a three-quarter length sleeve, perfect for spring slash summer with the cutest corset to go with it. Speaking of cute things, you're in the right place. Want to make something cute? You'll find it here. Want to make something for work? You'll find it here. Want something outlandish? You'll find it here. <laughs> Basically, we've got you covered for all your crochet needs, so get subscribed. And if you have already, thanks, love, you're the best. Now there's work to be done, so without further ado. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 750 grams of yarn, and that's 900 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5.5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using three stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And half double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and make explain how to in the video. So let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5.5mm hook and start off by making a chain that reaches from our underarm right to underneath our breast. So I'm going to start off by making a chain that's 5 inches or 13 centimeters, and that's going to be a chain of 17. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and start with a chain two. That's our turning chain, and from here we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. We're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook. So insert, pull through, should have three loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over, pull through all three loops. Let's do one more half double crochet together. We're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. We're going to pull one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one so that we can increase together. Now that we have one chain left, we're going to do an increase of two half double crochets. So start with a yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. Insert your hook into that last chain, pull through. Pull through three. There's our first half double crochet for our increase. We're going to be putting one more half double crochet into that same last chain. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. And now we should have two half double crochets into that last chain. And now to work our way up to the next row, which is going to be a slip stitch row, we're going to chain up one. Flip our work, and we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So together, we're going to insert our hook into that first available stitch's back loop, or the loop that's furthest away from us. We're going to yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook. Let's do one more. Into that next chain, insert your hook. Into that next back loop, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through everything on your hook. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. Now that we've put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, we're now going to switch back out to our half double crochet row, but it's now going to be in the back loop so that we have a clean rib on the other side. So we're going to start by doing a chain two, flip our work. Start with a yarn over and insert your hook into that first available stitches back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us with a half double crochet. Let's do one more. Yarn over into that next back loop with a half double crochet. We're going to continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. I'll meet you guys back when we have just one stitch left so that we can increase again. Right, we have made our way down and we have just one stitch left, so we're going to do an increase of two back loop half double crochets together. So start with the yarn over, insert your hook into that last back loop, pull through, pull through three, 
and then put one more half double crochet into that same back loop. So yarn over, insert, pull through, pull through three. And then we're going to do a slip stitch row just like how we did before. So chain one, flip your work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And now we're going to alternate between a back loop half double and back loop slip stitch row, remembering that we are going to increase into the ends of our back loop half double crochet rows until this reaches from mid underarm to the front of your body. And I'll meet you guys back right after a half double crochet row so that we can make a chain that reaches up to our shoulders. I'm back with my underarm portion. I have a total of five rows, and this width is a total of an inch and a half or four centimeters. We ended right after a half double crochet row, so from here, I'm going to make a chain that reaches all the way up to the top of our shoulder. I have already figured out my chain length, and that is going to be six inches or 15 centimeters. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 22. And now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain. Do a chain one, that's our turning chain, and into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. So insert your hook, we're going to yarn over, and pull through everything on our hook. Continue to put one slip stitch into every chain, and I'll meet you guys back once we're ready to start working into the body. We've put one slip stitch into every chain, and now that we have reached the body portion, we're going to go back to doing back loop slip stitches. So we may have to twist our work just a little bit to make sure that we get into that first stitches back loop. Once we have that, we're going to insert, pull through everything, and continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of this row, we're going to do a chain two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Then we're going to alternate between a back loop slip and back loop half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases until we get a shoulder width that we like. I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row so we can get started on the v-neck portion. I'm back and I have my shoulder portion all finished up. I now have a total of 10 rows and my total width is two and a half inches or seven centimeters and that is unstretched. Now we're going to start working on our v-neck portion. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our stitch marker into the stitch where we want our v-neck to start to curve in. So I've inserted my stitch marker into the 14th stitch from the top, and that's three and a half inches or eight centimeters. And from here, since we all should have ended along the bottom, we're going to do a chain two, flip our work, and we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have two stitches right before our stitch marker. Now that we put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and we have two stitches right before our stitch marker, we're going to do a decrease. So yarn over, then into that next back loop, or the second to last back loop, insert your hook, pull through. Also insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook, so from here we're going to yarn over, pull through all four of those loops, and that is how we do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. And we're going to switch back out to our slip stitch row, and we're going to need to decrease into there as well. So chain one. Flip your work. We're going to start by inserting a hook into that first stitch's back loop, yarn over, pull through. Also insert your hook into that next back loop. We're going to yarn over and automatically pull through all three of those loops. And that's how we do our decrease of two back loop slip stitches. From here we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain two, flip your work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while maintaining the same decrease that we just did together into the last two stitches. We're going to alternate between a back loop half double and back loop slip stitch row where we do a decrease of two into the tops of every row, all the way down until this stretches till we're about three inches from the middle of our chest. And then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I am back and I have the neck curve portion all finished up. I now have a total of 14 rows and this is four inches or 10 centimeters. And don't mind that I have this sleeve all finished up. I actually had to come back and redo a little bit, but this is the right numbers. So what we're going to do from here is go in with our netting for our corset tie. So since we all should have ended on a slip stitch row, what we're going to do from here is chain two, that counts as our turning chain, chain one extra, that'll make more sense in a second. So we should now all have three chains, flip our work, 
Yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet, skip our first stitch and half double crochet into the next. And that is our first chain one space. Let's do the next one together. Chain one, yarn over, skip one stitch, insert your hook into the next with a half double crochet. And one more, chain one, skip one stitch, half double crochet into the next. And we are going to keep doing this all the way down. I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, so we have now made our net row all the way down. We don't have any more stitches left. We just have one more row to do, and that's a single crochet row to make this edge just a little bit more sturdy. Start with a chain one and flip our work. We're going to put one single crochet into every stitch and chain one space, making our way all the way down. So into that first stitch, insert your hook with one single crochet. After that is this chain one space, insert with another single crochet, let's do one more, into that next stitch, single, chain one space, single. We're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way down when we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up one and cut. Alright, so one of our front panels is all done, and now we're going to do the next one. It's going to be done similarly, but since it isn't reversible, we're going to have to do increases on the opposite end. So let's get that started. We're going to start off by making the same chain that we made that went from our underarm right to underneath our breast. So if you guys have my numbers, I made a chain of 17. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. Now we're going to start with an increase of two half double crochets so that we can have the same side increase on the other side. So from here, we're going to yarn over once and into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook, we are going to start off by inserting with one, and then into that same chain, our second half double crochet. And from here, we're going to put one half double crochet into every chain. Now that we're at the end of our row one, we're going to switch to our back loop slip stitch row, so chain one, Flip our work and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. We reach the end of that row, do a chain two, flip your work, and start with an increase of two back loop half double crochets, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way back down. We're going to keep alternating between those two rows until we have the same amount of underarm rows that we have right here. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can get started on the shoulder portion right after we do a chain up a one and cut. All right, so I'm back with my underarm portion. I have the same amount of rows as this front panel, but since we ended along the bottom, we're going to do a chain up of one and cut, and then insert our hook into the top corner, and then start by making the same chain that we made on this side. So I've inserted my hook into this top corner stitch, and insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through. And if you guys have my numbers, I did a chain of 22. So I'm gonna make a chain of 22 here, and now that we have made our chain, we're going to pull some slack and cut. We're going to insert our hook into the bottom and then start with our rows of back loop slip stitches and back loop half double crochets for the same amount of rows that we have as the shoulder portion that we have right here. Meet you guys back. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up the shoulder portion. And now we're gonna get started on the v-neck portion. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our stitch marker into the same amount of stitches that we insert our stitch marker into for this side. So I counted down 14 on this side. I did the same over here. And then now, since we did do a chain up of one and cut after our last shoulder row, we're going to need to insert our hook into the back loop into the stitch that's right next to our stitch marker, working towards the bottom. So taking a look at our work, looking at my stitch marker, I'm going to insert my hook into the next back loop. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and I'm going to start with doing a chain two. Now this chain two doesn't count as a stitch, we just want the height, and we're going to start with a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch that our chain two is coming out of, pull through, into that next back loop, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all four loops on our hook. That is our decrease, and then from here, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. When you reach the bottom, do a chain one, flip the work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, 
while decreasing into the last two. Just like how we did a decrease into every row for this side over here. And we're going to keep repeating our back loop half double and back loop slip stitch row with a decrease into every row for the same amount of rows that we have on this side. And then I'll meet you guys back. All right, now that we have the same neck curve portion as our other front panel, we're now going to do our netting. So I'm just going to talk you guys through it. Since we're along the edge, we're going to start with a chain two that counts as our turning chain, chain one extra that counts as our chain, flip our work. We're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. Skip the next stitch, half double crochet into the next. And then from here, all we're going to do is chain one, skip one stitch, and half double crochet into the next, making our way all the way down. When we reach the end of this row, go into chain one, flip our work, and put one single crochet into every stitch. We don't have any more left to a chain one cut, and I'll meet you guys back. All right, so both of my front panels is all finished. I did do a chain up of one and cut, and now we're going to set these off to the side so we can get started on the back panel. But it's going to start off the same way that we did the first front panel that we did. So start off by making the same chain, and then the same amount of half double crochets with increases on the end of our row for the same amount of rows all the way up until we reach the shoulder portion. Then I'll meet you guys back to let you guys know how I'm going to go with the rest of the back. So as you guys can see, I have gotten a decent amount of the back panel finished up. We started by doing the same chains, same amount of underarm rows, and then when it came to doing our shoulder, we made the same amount of chains, making our way all the way up. And then all we did from there was a row of back loop slip stitches and back loop half double crochets, making our way all the way across our back, and also making sure that we're stretching it as if we were wearing it. And once we guys have that finished up, I will meet you guys back along the bottom so I can show you guys how to do our underarm. But just to let you guys know, I have a total of 36 rows, and this is 9 inches or 23 centimeters, and that's unstretched. So get yours done, and then I'll meet you guys back. Alright, so we should all have the main portion of our back all finished up. And now we're going to get started on the underarm. We ended on a slip stitch row so that we can do this side. Just like how we did the other side, but without all the cutting and tying. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our stitch marker into the same amount of chains that we made on the side and for the front panels. So I made a chain of 22. Over here, I counted down 22 stitches and inserted my stitch marker. From the bottom, we're going to start with a chain 2 and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we are 2 stitches away from our stitch marker. We've put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and we have one, two stitches right before our stitch marker, so let's do our decrease. We're going to start with a yarn over, insert your hook into that next back loop or the second to last, yarn over, pull through, also into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook now, so we're going to yarn over, pull through all four, and then from here we're going to do a row of back loop slip stitches. So chain one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When you reach the end, do a chain two, flip your work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, while maintaining the decrease into the two stitches along the top. We're going to keep repeating those two rows until we have the same amount of rows as we have on this side, and then I will meet you guys back after a chain of one and cut. We have just finished up our back panel, and now right before we seam everything together, we need to single crochet across the top to make it a little bit easier. So getting this started, we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to put two single crochets into every side half double and one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. So let's get that started. Inserting your hook into that first side half double crochet and insert with one, and then into that same gap that we insert our hook into, there's our second single crochet. And next up is our side slip stitch row. We're going to have to find that top loop. There's not going to be an actual loop for us to go into. But find that loop, insert your hook into there, and then put one single crochet. Let's do one more set. So this is my next side half double. There is one. There is two, into the side half double, and then our side slip stitch, find that top loop, and single crochet. 
We're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way down through the chain up a one and cut. Then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do the tops of the front panels as well. My single crochet row along the top of my back panel is all finished, and now we're going to do the same thing for the front panel. I already have one of mine done, so let's get started on the next one. We're all going to start by inserting a hook into the corner stitch of the front panel right where our shoulder is. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through to a chain of one. We're just going to do one set together since we already know how. So into that first side half double, we're going to insert with one into that same side half double with two single crochets and find that top loop on top of our slip stitch row. Insert your hook with one single crochet. We're going to keep doing this, make our way all the way down to a chain up of one and cut where we don't have any more stitches left and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. We have single crocheted along the tops of both of our front panels and we're back and now we're going to seam our shoulder. So setting one of our front panels off to the side, we're going to start by making sure that we are aligning our front panel so that our netting is along the inside. We're next going to flip it over because we need the ribbing to face each other. And we're doing it that way so that once when everything is flipped right side out, our seam is going to be along the inside. So making sure that this is on the inside, we're going to flip it over so that the rib is touching. So mine is actually going to switch spots. We're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch of the front panel and corner stitch of the back panel. Start by inserting your hook. Start by inserting your yarn onto your hook. Pull through everything. Do a chain up one to secure and now we're going to single crochet making sure that we're going into both the front and back panel at the same time. So into that first stitch into the front panel, insert your hook and then into that first stitch into the back panel, insert your hook and then we're going to single crochet them together. Let's do one more. Into the next stitch into the front panel and the next stitch into the back panel and single crochet. We're going to keep doing this since we don't have any more stitches left and then do a chain up of one and cut. Our shoulder is seamed and now we're going to seam the side. Now we're going to be doing an outside loop slip stitch seam so we're now going to flip our work right side out so that all of our rib is faced outwards. What I'm going to do is flip it like this making sure that our rib is faced up for the front panel and down for the back panel and we're all going to start by inserting our hook into the corner stitch of both panels. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through everything to a chain of a one. And now to do our seam for the sides, we're going to start by inserting our hook into that first available stitches front loop into the front panel. So just like that and then working into the back panel, find that next loop and then insert your hook into that back loop. You should now have three loops on our hook, so from here we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Let's do one more. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert your hook into that front loop. And then next stitch into the back panel, insert your hook only in through that back loop. Yarn over and pull through everything. We're going to continue to do this until we don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up of one and cut and then seam the other side just like how we did this side and I'll meet you guys back. Alright, everything is all seamed up and ready to get started on our sleeve. So we're first going to start by inserting our hook into the last stitch into our side seam. Insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And from here we're going to be putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet row that we have, so let's get that started. Into our first side half double crochet row we're going to insert our hook. with one single crochet and then into that same side half double crochet insert with another single crochet and then we're going to skip over our side slip stitch insert into that next side half double with one into that same side half double with two and we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we reach the shoulder portion which mine is right here and then we're going to put one single crochet into every stitch going up and over the shoulder. 
When we reach this underarm portion, we're going to go back to putting two single crochets into every side half double, slip stitch into that chain one space, then I'll meet you guys back. Our first single crochet row is done, and now we're going to get started on our half double crochet rows. But for these first few rows, our half double crochet rows is going to start with single crochets because we need this to curve and spill over our shoulder. So for our row number two, we're all going to make sure that we're working clockwise. So I'm just going to do a chain one, and I'm already working in that direction. So I'm going to start by putting one single crochet for every single crochet that we have for our underarm portion. So if you guys have my numbers, I did a total of six single crochets because I had these three side half double crochet rows. So let's do my six. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And once when I have the same amount of single crochets as single crochets that we made for our underarm, I'm going to put one half double crochet into every stitch, making my way up and over. And then when I have my last six stitches left, I'm going to close off with six single crochets. Slip stitch into that chain one space. Meet you guys back. We've just finished our row number two or our half double crochet row. And now we're going to do a back loop slip stitch row so that we can maintain the ribbing that we have for the body. So we did do a slip stitch into that chain one space. So what we're going to do is chain one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And just to double check for all of our slip stitch rows, we want to make sure that we're working counterclockwise. So insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through everything, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. I'll meet you back at the end of this row. Row number three for our sleeve is all done, and now we're going to go back to doing our half double crochet row, but now we're going to do some decreases so that this can be snug around our arm. So we slip stitched into that chain one space. We're going to do a chain one and flip our work. We're going to start by putting one back loop single crochet for the same amount of single crochets that we did for our underarm portion. So if you guys have my numbers, I had six single crochets. So now I'm going to do six back loop single crochets for our row number four. So finding that first back loop, there is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once when I have my back loop single crochets, we are now going to do a decrease of two back loop single crochets, and then we'll do our back loop half double crochets. So inserting your hook into that next back loop, we're going to yarn over, pull through that loop, into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. Should have three loops on our hook, so from here we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. That is our decrease. And from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet, making our way all the way up and over, making sure that we leave the same amount of stitches as same crochets that we made over here. So for me, that's six, plus an extra two stitches for our decrease. So I will meet you guys back when I have eight stitches left. I've made my way all the way around with my back loop half double crochets, and I have my eight stitches left. So now we're going to do a decrease and then close off with one back loop single crochet into every stitch. So into that next stitch for me, I'm going to insert my hook into that back loop, pull through, into the stitch after that, making sure we're going into that back loop, insert, pull through, we're going to yarn over, pull through all three, and then close this row off by putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch. All right, we have closed off our row. We've slip stitched into that chain one space. Do a chain of one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch for our ribbing. Slip stitch into that chain one space when we make our way all the way around, and then we're going to repeat our two previous rows. So one back loop single crochet for the same amount of single crochets that we have for our underarm, a decrease of two, and then one back loop half double crochet, making our way all the way around, while doing a decrease of two back loop single crochets, and then closing off with the same amount of single crochets that we have for our underarm. Keep alternating between those two rows, making sure that we meet back right after a slip stitch row, once when the sleeve is nice and snug around our arm. Then I'll meet you guys back. I'm finished with the decrease section of my sleeve. I now have a total of 23 rows. We ended on our slip stitch row, and now we're going to do something very similar just so that we can even it out 
so it is completely horizontal when we wear it. So since we ended on a slip stitch row, all we're going to do is put the same amount of seam crochets that we've been putting, so the same amount of seam crochets that we have for our underarm row. So I'm going to put a total of six back loop seam crochets. And now that I have my back loop seam crochets, a total of six of them for me, we're not going to do our decrease since it's already snug. We're just going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And then once we make our way around to the other side, we're going to put the same amount of back loop seam crochets that we started off with, slip stitch into that chain one space, do a chain up of one, flip your work, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So basically the same thing that we've been doing, but we're not going to be doing our decrease anymore. I'll meet you guys back once when this is completely horizontal on our arm right after a slip stitch row. Alright, so I'm back with my few evening out rows. I now have a total of 27 rows. It is completely horizontal, and now we're going to go in with the length of our sleeve. We should have all ended on a slip stitch row, so all we're going to do from here is do one row of back loop half double crochets and one back loop slip stitch row. So just to get the first row started, since we ended on a slip stitch row, let's do a chain two now. There we go. And then all we're going to do is put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Slip stitch into that second chain that we made once we make our way all the way around. Chain one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to keep repeating those two rows all the way down until we get around where our elbow is or where you need it to start to decrease a little bit more. I'll meet you guys back so I can show you guys how to decrease and then we'll move on from there. We've gone in with the length of our sleeve and I'm around where my elbow is, so I'm ready to start decreasing. So I'm going to show you guys how to do our decrease and then let you guys move on from there. You should have all ended on a slip stitch row. If you guys want to go into my numbers, I have a total of 39 rows. And into my 40th, I'm going to start with a chain two. We're going to start and end with a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. So start with the yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, next back loop, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over and pull through all four. And then from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, decrease into the last two stitches, slip stitch into the second chain that we made, and then do our back loop slip stitch row. That is how we're going to do our decrease rows. And we're going to decrease into our half double crochet rows only until this gets snug around our So after this row, it's actually going to be pretty good for me. So I'm just going to repeat our half double crochet and slip stitch row with no increases or decrease from here until this reaches where my elbow is because I want my sleeve to be three quarters. So I'm back with my sleeve and I now have a total of 53 rows and now we're ready to get started on our cuff. So we're first going to start by inserting our yarn onto our hook. Pull through, and we're going to make a chain the length that we want our cuff to be. I want mine to be about 2 inches or 5 centimeters, so I'm going to start by making a chain of 8. And now that we have that chain, lock off that last chain, do a chain 1, and then into that chain that we locked off, for the second chain from our hook, insert for the slip stitch. Continue with one slip stitch into every stitch. We've just finished putting one slip stitch into every chain, and now we're going to need to connect it into the base. Starting off by inserting a hook into that next available stitch into the front panel. To close this row, and in order to work our way up to the next panel, slip stitch into that next stitch, flip your work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When you reach the end, do a chain one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Repeating the two rows that we just did, and I'll meet you guys back. We don't have any more stitches left, so that we can seam it together. We've made our way all the way around with our cuff, and now we're going to seam it together. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out, and we're going to do an outside loop slip stitch seam. So let's do that together. Into that first available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook only into that front loop, and then into that next available panel, and then into that next available loop into that back panel making sure we're only inserting into that back loop. 
yarn over and pull through everything. Let's do one more. Into that next stitch, into the front panel, insert only into that front loop. And into that next available stitches, back loop, into the back panel, insert, yarn over and pull through everything. We're going to keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left to go into. Do a chain up of one and cut and then repeat everything that we did here on this side on the other side. Now that our sleeves are all done, we can now get started on the hood. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our hook into the corner stitch right where our netting is. Insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through. Do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're just going to single crochet all the way around until we reach this other corner. So we're going to start by putting two single crochets into every side half double, making sure that we're skipping over our side slip stitch rows. So to do the first one. My first side half double is our net. So I'm going to insert my hook into there with one and two single crochets. Skip over this next side slip stitch, insert into that next side half double with one, with two, and then once more for me into that next side half double with one, and then with two. Now that we have reached our shoulder portion, just put one single crochet into every stitch, one single crochet into every stitch along the back, and once we meet down here, do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so we have single crocheted along the entirety of our collar. Once we reach this corner, we did do a chain up of one and cut, and now we're going to get started on our hood. So we're going to want to try this on, and we're going to insert our stitch markers right where we want our hood to start. I started mine about an inch right from where our shoulder seam is, and I made sure that it was even on both sides. Once we have that, we're going to make sure that our work is flipped right side out and right side up, and we're going to start by inserting our hook into that left stitch marker. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and start by doing a chain two. Now we're going to do an increase into this first half double crochet row. So we're going to put one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches, and then we're going to increase into the seven. So let's get that started. We're going to yarn over, insert into that next stitch, working our way towards the back, and insert with one single crochet. I'll meet you guys back when we have a total of six, not counting our chain two. Now that we have our six double crochets, we're now going to do our increase of two. So start with a yarn over, insert into that next stitch, and insert with one into that same stitch with our second half double crochet. And from here, we're going to maintain the stitch sequence of six half double crochets and an increase into the seventh, all the way down until we reach our stitch marker on the other side. We've just made our way all the way down with our first half double crochet row where we did an increase into every seventh stitch. From here, all we're going to do is a chain one. Flip our work and then working our way back, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're doing it that way so we can get the same ribbing that we have for the body. Once we reach the end of that, I'm going to do a chain two, flip my work, and then put one back loop half double into each of those stitches. I'm going to keep going back and forth, alternating between those two rows with no increases and no decreases until this reaches the top of our head. Now, if this isn't as wide as you need, keep increasing into every half double crochet row into every seventh stitch just like how we did for the first row until it gets as wide as you need and then build straight up from there. In the next clip, I'll let you guys know how many rows I end up having and then the length and then I'll show you guys how to seam it together. I now have the height of my hood all done. I have a total of 14 inches or 36 centimeters or that's a total of 45 rows and from here, we're going to seam it together. I ended on a half double crochet row so what I'm going to do from here is insert my hook into this other panel's corner stitch, yarn over, and pull through everything. And making sure that our work is flipped right side out, we're going to do another outside loop slip stitch seam. So let's do the first one. We're all going to start by inserting a hook into that first available stitches front loop into the front panel, and then into that next available stitches back loop into the back panel. We should have three loops on our hook. So we're going to yarn over, pull through all three loops. We're going to continue to put one outside loop slip stitch into every stitch, 
so we don't have any more. And then I'll meet you guys back after we do a chain up a bond and cut. We have just finished seaming our hood and now we're going to clean up the edges of our hood. So all we're going to do is start by inserting our hook into the stitch that's right next to where we started the hood, working into the collar, which is the stitch right here. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and then from here we're going to put two single crochets into every side half double, making our way all the way up and around. So just to do the first one with you guys, this is my first side half double crochet row right here. I'm going to insert my hook into there with one, and into that same side half double with two. I'm going to keep doing this, making our way all the way up and around. Slip stitch into that next stitch into the base that we have that's into the collar, and then do a chain up of one and cut. Our hood is all finished and now we can get started on the bottom band. So we're first going to make sure that our work is flipped right side up, right side out, and the bottom is faced away from us. I'm going to insert our hook into any one of our bottom rows, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And from here we're going to put two single crochets into every side half double, and one single crochet into every side slip stitch row, so let's get that started. This is my first side row right here, which is a side half double crochet row. So I'm going to insert my hook into there with one. And then into that same side half double with two single crochets. This is my next side row, which is a slip stitch row. I'm going to find that top loop. Then insert into there with just one single crochet. Let's do one more set. Into my next side half double. There goes one. There goes two into my next side slip stitch, insert with one single crochet, and keep doing this all the way down until we reach this corner where we have to do our chain one and then connect it into this other corner over here. I've made my way all the way down to my net and we have one side half double and one single crochet, so we're going to put two single crochets into that next side half double. And then one single crochet into this single crochet row, inserting into that last stitch. Now all we're going to do from here is chain one, and then insert your hook into the corner stitch of the other panel, and then start with your single crochet, and then continue on with our sequence of one single crochet into every side slip stitch row, and then two single crochet into every side half double crochet row. Make your way all the way around, slip stitch into that chain one space, and then I'll meet you guys back. And now that we have single crocheted along the entirety of the bottom of our piece, now we're going to go in with the bottom band. So we're going to start off by making a chain the length that we want our bottom band to be, and I want mine to be about 4 inches or 20 centimeters. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 15. And now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain. Do a chain 1 and into that chain that we blocked off. For the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. Let's do the next one. Insert your hook into that next chain. Should have two loops on our hook. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. Continue to put one slip stitch into every chain. And now that we have put one slip stitch into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch into that next stitch into the base to close off this row. So inserting your hook into that next stitch, insert, yarn over, pull through everything. And that's our first bottom band row done. Let's get started on the next one. Start by slip stitching into that next stitch, into the base, flip our work. And from here, just put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. We make our way down to the bottom. And from here, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we make our way down to the bottom, do a chain one, flip your work, and then continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Keep Repeating those two rows all the way until we don't have any more stitches left. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can seam it together. Now that we have made our way all the way around with our bottom band, we're now going to seam it together. And this is going to be an outside loop slip stitch seam. So let's do that together. Insert your hook into that first available stitches front loop into the front panel. And then into that next available stitches back loop into the back panel. 
insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. There we go. We're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way down. We don't have any more stitches left, so we chain up one and cut. We have just finished seaming the bottom band, and we are almost done. The last thing we need to do is make a chain that can weave in and out of all of our loops that we made for ourselves for the corset. So I went ahead and made a chain of 35 inches. Once we have that done, we can weave in all of our ends. Our ends are woven in and our cropped hoodie is all done. I love how this turned out. It's such a fun and flirty piece, perfect for the spring and summer. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how you guys remake it. So don't forget to tag us on Instagram so we can share you guys to our highlights. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us what the last thing you watched on TV was. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. All of those links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.